so here's kind of the stuff um these boxes are water damaged and i do see i did see some mold growing mold mold where'd you go mold mold and mold where are you i see mold mold and so um i did see oh wait that's frozen hot springs um i did see i thought i had it dr kellen milani in here um, Dr. Kellen Milani in Bozeman, she is a biotoxin specialist at Top of the Nation uh, in Bozeman and California. And she highly advised that I do not keep any textile thing or furniture or anything porous at all whatsoever that has been exposed, exposed to mold. Um, I'm not allowed to have it. And I was supposed to see her and get more treatments, um, but the... The doctors I was working with, um, just due to the liability of this whole welfare check thing, um, they were advised by the legal system to unvalidate all of the physical validation that I had gotten. Um, and of course, things did change in the government at that time, and we started having a pandemic. Um, but the other thing there is um, with the physical... Oh, dang it. What the heck was I going to say? It was so important. Um, they, they thought it fitting to devalidate me. Uh, all the charges were dropped on the article that you look up on me. As a matter of fact, there were no charges whatsoever. And I did get the evidence or lack thereof. And Walter Hennessy was my public defender. But um, when I got it, actually, the cop claims in it that he lost a lot of the film reel that happened before the rollover. Um, but yeah, all charges were dropped on it and I was denied my right to a trial by jury. So that's basically sort of the sort of the thing on that. And dang it, I had something really important to say. Oh, oh, so also what happened with the change in presidency is there was a legitimate doctor in Washington DC that was treating Morgellons, but with like antibiotics and you know, most, most likely oxygenation tanks and probably LLLT therapies. Um, she wasn't treating it psychiatrically. I mean, really like going through all this and the way you're treated by your community and your family and um, the medical industry and being defamed by it does cause, you know, some people to need like psychiatric care. And then also um, you have chronic fatigue syndrome, which they're calling depression and you know, life does get really rough when you deal with this. So they do recommend like, you know, some therapy in psychiatric services, but that doctor who was a legitimate medical official that was treated it in um, DC and what's her name? I can't even think of it. It doesn't matter anyways, because if people want to believe the lie and the cover up about it, they can believe that. Or if people want to believe what they found at the Tulsa forensics lab, and what they see under the microscope and the actual like pictures of it and the actual exposures, then they're gonna believe that part of it. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter like concerning that, um, but basically the cover of it, cover up of it saying that people were delusional and on drugs has been vastly disproven under the microscope. Um, and I think all cases are different as well. It comes from different places for different people and whatnot. Um, but anyways, that's a whole different debate concerning uh, the disease. But I went to a and a half neuropsych appointment with somebody with a PhD, and she did not find me to have any mental illness. Um, I did self-diagnose myself with uh, borderline personality right before my disability case because I'd heard a commercial on YouTube about it, and some of the symptoms were like isolation and I don't know, some other ones. But it turned. But then after they validated that, and I got my um, my disability with it, um, I had five different doctors tell me that I did not have borderline personality disorder. I had the opposite of it, and in fact, what I did have was complex post traumatic stress disorder, um, starting from early childhood sexual abuse, and um, then just a whole lot of other targeting but like most most severely is actually the thing that happened um with a corrupt police officer that's actually facing charges of child abuse now and so that's what i've had like the most issue with ptsd um concerning at this point